Hello guys, this is Avcor and I want to talk about the last part of the crossover banner and that's Aerith. Of course Tifa got the best costume in my opinion, but Aerith actually got a really good setup. And it's very experimental at this point, but let's get into why I think it will work. And why I think it may not work for some. So first of all, I, I have to give the devs credit. This is one of the best designed costumes in the game at this point. And it's really no comparison. This is this is beautiful. I, I really like this. This is absolutely beautiful. And it's this, it, this is what makes me want to get the costume in the first place. Just because of the way it looks. But getting into the mechanics of the costume. Kamur dress is good. But the problem is some of her best costumes are hidden behind limited banners i think the garnet costume with the blue seal boost hp is actually her best costume but this is second place i just wish it had hp on there i would i would sacrifice the buff debuff extension to get the 15 hp 10 heal that matt got because i think matt has the best healing costume but she just has more versatility where matt is just focused and that's fine that's fine because Aerith is all about versatility. Kamura Wan represents that. So for starters, Spiritual Harmony is something that we've been waiting for. It's a weapon that increases P attack for all allies. So this is better than what they did with Yuffie where she increases her own attack in another person. So based on that alone, I think a one-off is, is doable. I think that just as a one-off, it's solid. But also when your HP is at 70 or above, your magic defense is increased mid. And then if you do it again, high. But from what it looks like, if you do it twice, you get high on magic attack and you get high on magic defense, which for just one, copy is really good so i may just go for one copy and leave it at that but the heal is 232 which i like the p attack and magic attack is not that important as this is a support weapon this is what kills me right here in the r abilities buff debuff extension to me is not as important as we get into the support material i think this would be have been better served if heal was here if even better if it was like matt's weapon the centipede where it was boost heal and debuff extension i thought that would be better i think this is what makes the weapon weak in my mind boost hp is good it's always good but for what you're trying to do with this weapon i think the devs made a huge mistake in the r abilities it should have been boost heal and buff debuff extension because that's one of the weaknesses of Aerith as a healer there's a few weapons that she have that she has that will actually get you to the R ability level of 100 heal and we'll look at that later but I think this was the biggest mistake so at OB6 the P attack and magic attack overtake the heal but 306 on heal is really good but I wish they would have made it a little higher. I don't see the point of this. I Sometimes when you play a support build, you really don't even bother attacking. So I thought this was pointless. You could have taken something for P attack and put it in here. That's my opinion. But of course, you actually increased your P attack. This time is high for all allies. And when your HP is 70 or above, magic defense is increased high. This is what makes this weapon so enticing to ob6 because doing that for 4 atv is absolutely broken it's absolutely absolutely broken for atb to get magic defense high and magic and physical attack high absolutely broken the boost hp if they were going to do it should have been a little higher debuff extension is good though because at this point, you're at level 4, which is really good. So, once again, 
I wish they would have put a little more into heal because they didn't give you our ability that increased your heal. So I just, this is the biggest weakness here in my mind. But your P attack is increased high and uh, extension duration is 20, 20 seconds, which is really good. And once your HP is over 70%, magic defense is increased high, uh, 20 seconds, 26 seconds. But at that point, you really don't want to do that. You actually just want to cycle in and out. And the uh, potency is 7% seven, seven of healing potency, which is fine. But the support material is a boon and a bane at, in my mind. So this is what I wanted from the sub abilities because I think this is the direction that is good for the devs to go into. So of course you have your typical magic attack boost slot, but you have heal boost one. This is something that I definitely wanted along with all cure spells this this combination actually makes this i'm gonna i'm gonna get a one-off on this weapon for that simple fact because this is something i desperately wanted and eris weapon but they failed here they failed in not giving her heal here because in order for these two to work to their maximum effect you actually want to have a high heal level and the weapon is not serving that purpose so let's go to her weapons per se and we'll look at her healing weapons so so full metal no not full metal stars guard stick so in order to really take advantage of this weapon you're going to actually have to raise up guard stick and if you already have an OB-10 guard stick, then this is going to have to be either in your second hand or it's going to have to be in your... Um, it's going to have to actually be in your sub-equipment. Sub but if you have mass weapon, then that's going to actually make it easier. So I have mass weapon. That's why I'm going to one off it. And then you have her other weapon. But it's only giving her 31 heal, which is not good enough anymore. And that's what upsets me about this weapon because we were looking for a weapon that was that was that was going to give her the 62, basically do what mass weapon does for him, right? We basically wanted it to be centipede. This is what we wanted to do. 62 heal, 26 buff debuff extension. If it had those R abilities, then that weapon would have been perfect. That's all it needed. That's all it needed because everything works for this. Everything. So this is what we wanted. This is what we wanted out of that. That's what this is why I'm upset with this weapon. Because it's near perfection. This weapon is near perfection. The support material material is is perfect. The C abilities are perfect. Even the stats. 324 is actually four points higher than Centipede. Everything is perfect except the R abilities. And I just don't get that. When you look at her costume, she's getting 10 heal here. You're supposed to combine that with 62 heal and yeah, I, I just, yeah, this is what kills me about this weapon. It's just our abilities can make or break a weapon, and it did with this one. It, it, it killed this weapon. The our abilities killed this weapon. If if you have an argument with that, just tell me why you would prefer these our abilities as opposed to the 6226 that you get from a weapon like Centipede. Because I think those are perfect healer stats. Because not only would you get the debuff buff extension, you would have got the heal she needs in order to make this work. In order to make this part work. And you would have had the extension in order to make the buffs work. I understand that in the costume, you don't have that. And that's what you wanted to do. But I think sacrificing heal was a big mistake. But anyways... Here's my verdict. Is it a must get? 
No, if you're going to roll on this banner, roll for Tifa. But for me, I'm definitely going to get a Kamura Ron. I'm going to do it right now. But if you are a newer player, absolutely not. If you are a Dolphin, absolutely not. If you're a well, you can do whatever. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this out the way. I'm going to go and summon for this weapon because I do want one of them. And I'm going to do a little test run to see how good I can make it work. But that's just personally for me. And we'll see how much it takes. Oh, what the hell? What the hell? Okay, this is... <laughs> that's it, man. I'm done with this banner. I got seven anymore. What the hell? What the hell? You, you got it here, man. This is the first time I've ever seen a black choker, but what the hell? I might go ahead and get the Tifa costume if that's the damn case. Bleep, man. I might go ahead and do that. I actually want this costume, bro. I, I, I love this costume. I'm probably going to get it. Not, shoot, that's six, man. What the hell? Yeah, we know what this is. Oh, it makes a sound too? What the hell? Yeah, 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 man. I'm going to get the costume. I want this costume so bad. Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. I know they're going to give me a six, man. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and do that. <laughs> I don't even care, man. That's that's ridiculous. So, if I get a six, I'm going to do that. Yeah, that's fine. I, I didn't think I was going to get a six. Yeah, that's... that's whoa. Yeah, that's 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 insane. That's insane. Oh, I got to change it because that's uh, the Kieran costume. So that's going to be a big dummy. I <laughs> Hell. Oh, no. No way. If we get another one, that's going to be stupid. Oh, that's stupid. That's really stupid. Okay. So let's go and change the costume because I, I, I desperately want this costume. I didn't... Honestly, man, I, let me go ahead and do details. I want this costume for T uh, Aerith. I, I just, I'm in love with the costume, dude. I'm, I'm in love with it. I'm in love with Kamura dress. All right, so let's go ahead and finish this off because I want Kamura dress. I'm absolutely in love with that costume. Please let this be a two. Ah, frack it. Don't worry, guys. I'm getting the costume today, right now, right now. I'm getting it. Yeah, I'm getting the costume, man. I, I, I don't really care for like getting even the weapon. I just want the costume. Oh my God, what's going on here? Don't tell me. Oh, 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 hell. Oh, man, that's awesome. This is some, some crack luck here. Let's keep going. Please let this be a two. Oh, oh, wow. Yeah, we're almost done, baby. One more, and that's it. I I, I want this costume so bad. I, I, didn't, I didn't think they'd give me a six on this, but that's insane. Oh wow. Okay, yeah, that's that's pretty good. Alright, one more and then we're done, man. Holy crap, I can't believe that. A black choker ball? Insane. Oh wow, another two. Alright, I might I might risk it and get that later. I'm going to stop now. 
I, I got what I want. I wanted a costume. I want a costume so bad. I don't care, man. I don't care if I didn't. This is what I wanted. This is one of the best costumes in the game right now. I don't even care about the stats. I just, I just like the way that thing looks, man. This is fucking evil. All right, guys. Sorry about that impulse, man. I didn't know they were gonna actually give me uh, a six, man. But like I said, I, I think this costume is better. But I'm not a big Tifa player on this account, so. Yeah, the Aerith costume is just... Yeah, I had to get it. But anyways, thank you for watching, guys. Have a great day. Tell me what you got. Did Which banner did you actually summon on? And were you happy with what you got? I have to say, I'm, I'm pretty happy with what I got because I stayed over 3,000 crystals and I'm going to stop there. So anyways, you guys have a great one. And naters.